Here's how to connect to different market data providers in NinjaTrader 8. Right, so if this is the first time that you ever open NinjaTrader 8, then uh, you probably already received an email from NinjaTrader with your data feed credentials. All right, now what does a data feed actually mean? All right, uh, basically all that means is that you know, if you want to trade uh, the ES or the NASDAQ or gold or crude oil, or whatever the case might be, to see the live price currently in the market for whatever instrument actually fluctuate, you need a live data feed, right? So that you're up to date second by second or millisecond by millisecond to the actual price of what that instrument is trading at currently in the market. Right, so now there are different data providers. Some of them might even be brokers. We're going to be talking about that in just a second. But the first thing you want to do is once you've actually signed up with NinjaTrader, um, you will receive an email with your data feed credentials. And the first thing you're going to do is once you've got your main panel open here, or your control panel in NinjaTrader 8, you want to go to Connections. And the first thing you will do, you see, I've already got a few pre-configured here, but if this is the first time you're doing this, you want to go to configure over here. And you'll see here under connections, there's quite a lot of supported data feed providers, some of them being brokers like TD Ameritrade or FXCM, Forex.com and Interactive Brokers is another big one where you can actually use their data to trade on NinjaTrader 8. So if you don't want to use their platform, for example. So that's another uh, possibility that you can um, go after if you wanted to. But let's say, for example, Ninja, you open an account with NinjaTrader uh, with their brokerage or just uh, go after the first two, uh, the two week trial for the data. Then you can take that credentials that you received in your email once you're registered and you can go and click on the corresponding let's say ninja trader continuum i know that's one that they actually send out for people to actually um, do the trial for example um, then you will get your connection name which you can actually name whatever you want to and then here's where you're going to go and paste your username that they've sent you and your password all right so that's just the basic ways of doing things there are some other buttons over here. I don't think you really need to worry that for first off. And then what you'll do is go ahead and click OK and apply. I'm not going to do that right now. And then basically that will be set up. So once that's all done and you want to then start seeing, let's say you open a chart in Ninja Trader and you want to start seeing live data coming in. For explanation purposes, I loaded the ES. The e mini SP 500. I set it to a one minute time frame and I go over to connections. In the drop down, down list will be that pre configured um, data provider that you just uh, configured. I'm using NJC Live, that's Ninja Cadis Live. It's a live data feed account that I have. You see on the top left hand side here, there'll be this like little yellow button. Basically, what that means is that it's actually connecting to that data feed. It might take a few seconds, depending where you are in the world. I'm in South Africa. It's a little bit far away from the actual data center. But uh, if you've got a fast internet connection, it shouldn't take too long. And once the actual connection has been uh, made, that button will turn red. Oh, sorry, green. And then real data would start coming into this market could be for any market uh, just one thing you need to note is that if you connect to a data provider that only provides futures you'll only have access to futures markets so you won't have access to forex for example or crypto or whatever the case might be once that button is green we'll see on the right hand side here that we'll see an uptick and a downtick it is during the overnight session while i'm recording this video that actually shows that the data is live. You see that it jumped there from 4786 to 4787 and a quarter pretty quickly. Other way you can quickly see if there is actual data, if it looks like things are standing still, is go to your chart trader and on the right hand side here you'll have the bid and ask prices. And you'll see if they are moving, that means that real data is coming in at the moment. All right, so I'm just going to hide that for example. Um, 
Now, it is also possible to connect to multiple data providers at once within NinjaTrader 8. So, for example, let's say I'm interested in following the crypto market. Then, interestingly enough, with NinjaTrader, and I've actually included this for quite some time, there is a Coinbase connection, but it's only got a few selected crypto currency pairs on there. Now I'm just using crypto as an explanation. We mostly trade futures here at Ninja Caters, but I'm just going to show you how to connect to a different brokerage as well. You could this could be the same for FXCM, um, TD Ameritrade, Interactive Brokers, whatever the case might be. But for example, um, let's say Coinbase wasn't there. It is actually one of the available connections here. Simply you'll just go to Coinbase, you double click on that, and there's not really much to do here to set up any passwords or so. It's actually just a, a default connection that you can use with Ninja Trader. So again, you don't need your, a password or or a username, whatever the case might be. Again, you can you name it whatever you want to and hit OK. And once you've done that, it will actually pop up here if it's not in there already under the connection list. And just for explanation purposes, I can just go ahead and left click on Coinbase and it's already connected and if you want to see if it is connected you'll see now that i've got two green buttons here my features uh, data provider as well as coinbase both of them connected at the same time okay um let me quickly show you let's say we want to open a new chart here and we want to go to cryptocurrencies then Connected to Coinbase, these would be the pairs that you can actually go ahead and open. Let's say Bitcoin US dollar. Um, I like using a specific um, background or template. You can just quickly go and find that. And it could be set to any time frame. Just go ahead and click OK. And because I'm connected to a Bitcoin, or sorry, a cryptocurrency exchange i'll have live data coming in here for the bitcoin us dollar pair all right uh, just quickly just to note again that you can't connect to let's say coinbase only and expect to have data for futures markets all right so um, just take note of that uh, it's very self-explanatory uh, the other thing you just need to make note of also before i leave is that although it is possible to connect to multiple data providers if some of them are brokers that's outside of the ninja trader brokerage you might have to change uh, sorry pay for what they call an add-on uh, which will cost you a monthly fee if you need to attach or um, connect sorry to multiple brokers all at once right but the one that uh, i've just shown you with coinbase is uh, actually included for free but if FXCM you want to connect to, um, you got an account with them, and you got all their credentials, you can come set it up here in your connections in Instrator 8, but you will pay that uh, additional fee uh, monthly that they'll charge you for that. All right, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoy that, and hopefully it was informative. And we'll see you in the next one. Take care, and goodbye.